Amigos de Ticket, me encuentro ahora con la estrella de Viaje 2, la isla misteriosa, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hi, Dwayne. Hello. How are you enjoying your time here in Latin America? I love it. I love it. I love it in Latin America. It's just, it's, it's always beautiful. You know, as I, we were just talking about before the cameras rolled, I, the one thing that's just always so moving is the, is the, the love mm. that I get from men, women, yeah. kids, yeah, because it's just, it's so genuine, mm -hmm. and I really, really appreciate it. We that. Latin Americans are very passionate fans, right? I love it, <laughs> yes, sure. That's, that's good for you. And some of the most beautiful women I have ever seen huh. in my life. I just commented on that again today, it's amazing. <laughs> so l let's talk about your evolution. Let's talk about Latin women. Okay. Or let's talk about my evolution. No, 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 we can talk about Latin <laughs> women. No, 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 go What's ahead. What's the most passionate thing you think Latin American women have? What do you think makes them special? Mm, well, number one, they're curves. <laughs> <laughs> And they're, uh, they're just proud, culturally mm. proud. And, um, and fiercely independent women. Mm. And I love that. Perfect. You know, don't want a wishy-washy woman. <laughs> One woman knows who she is. Especially when you're a tough big guy, yeah. you need a woman that can put on a fight, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Not too much of a fight. Just a, a tiny Just bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That, that works. That works. <laughs> now, man, there's been such an evolution in your career from wrestling then to action hero and now family actor, comedy family. Did you ever imagine it would be like this? It was my goal when I first got into acting 10, 11 years ago, which was to, I wanted to have a diverse career. I knew that, but I also knew there was no guarantees. And I came into acting, it was a high risk move because I, I was in wrestling and I was on top mm -hmm. and I quietly walked away. I retired uh, on top and people called me crazy. It was a big risk. So when I got into acting, uh, uh, even though I had no experience, I still knew I was willing to put in the work and I wanted to have a diverse career. So to be able to sit here today with you um, and not only talk about Latin women, but also <laughs> talk about diversity and being able to go from action to drama to comedy, family comedy, is special to me. And were you afraid at some point about maybe any damage to your image as action hero while you're doing films like The Tooth Fairy or something? Yes, you think about it. You know, of course you do, because I've made my living on being a tough a guy, tough guy yeah. and, and, and a, or trying to be tough at times, <laughs> <laughs> trying not to cry. Um, That's going to be my next question, but go ahead. But, but so, yeah, I've, so much of who I am is a physical man. Yeah. I believe in, I love physicality. So when you do something like the Tooth Fairy, it is a risk. You're jumping off the cliff. You gotta have balls. Yeah. You, yeah. And but also too, it's important the perspective of who am I making this movie for? I'm not making it for the action fans who want to see me yeah. hunt down men and do violent things. <laughs> I'm making it for the entire family. So it, it was one of those <laughs> interesting. And especially it worked that at the end, and that, yeah. that's a great thing that you can still be the action hero, and then you can be a, a comedy family man, and right, that's great. Right. Now, it seems to me that right now, you're the go-to guy for all these franchises that need like a, a, a pump. Like They call me Franchise Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> But it's great, you're doing Fast and the Furious, sure. and Journey, and G.I. Joe, how do you feel about that? I feel great, I feel great about it. You know, the thought was never, how can I take over franchises? Mm -hmm. No, 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 the thought was just, It was a matter of creating characters that I'm going to love to play that I think audiences are really going to love. For example, in Fast Five, it wasn't about hooking into that franchise. It was about creating a character that I thought audiences are really going to enjoy seeing me play. And I don't want to be Vin Diesel's buddy. I don't want yeah. to be your friend. I want to hunt you down. I think that's more interesting. G.I. Joe, same thing, creating new characters. Same thing with Journey, creating yeah. new characters. So you have an opportunity to capitalize already on success. But still, even in that, for all these movies that I've done, I've gotten involved in the franchises to reboot them. Mm -hmm. you, it, you still have the opportunity to make the next one better. My viewers would like for us to do an arm wrestle. Is that oh. possible? Can we do that? You might, you might beat me. Yeah, I don't think so. They, they want to see me being ridiculed, but. Are you up okay, for it? Here we go. Okay. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. You're strong. <laughs> yeah, Look right. Wow. You are really ah! strong. <laughs> Breathe. Okay. <laughs> There you go. There you go. <laughs>
<laughs> Almost. I wonder if we should leave your audience <laughs> no. in like a cliffhanger. Okay, where we'll do, we'll do. We'll, we'll cut it. You could have won. Yeah, right. You were on your way of winning. <laughs> no, well, man, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Nice meeting you.